Welcome guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Morph Mod onto Minecraft from Max. So let's just get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download all the things that I have in the description. So just go download that and they're all going to be in, the links are going to be in the description. So okay, make sure you go download all of these. Once they are all downloaded, you're going to need to unzip all of them because they're going to be compressed. So you're just going to need to unzip all of them and then they're going to turn it into jar files so now what that you've uh you know downloaded all of the things that you need what you want to do is you just want to go and you want to click the fabric installer thing and this is going to install the version of minecraft that you're going to need in order to use the mod so just go install that now i've already installed it so i don't need to install it but you just go open it and install it so once you have done that you're going to need to press command shift g now this will open the go to folder kind of window thing and you're going to need to put in this location in. It's going to be in the description so you don't have to manually type it into it. So go and you know press go so then you can go into the folder. When you press go you're going to be in this minecraft folder and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the folder that's called like versions. So you're going to press on that and then if you downloaded it you're going to see the fabric loader thing and uh yeah only if you have installed it so once you've done all of that just press go into minecraft you're gonna press the application and it's gonna the window's gonna pop up and the version is already gonna be automatically set for you it's gonna say fabric loader and um yeah you're just gonna have the fabric loader if it doesn't show up go to installations and then press new installation and then when it's version you just press the fabric loader that's on the bottom Anyways, yeah, they can do that. Also, there's like, if there's like a, a warning kind of sign there, it, it doesn't matter, guys. It will still work exactly how it like normally does. So if there's like a warning sign, um, it'll work. Don't worry. It, don't worry about it. Like, it will work still. So, um, so just like ignore it. And basically what you want to do is press play. And then it's going to prepare or download, depending on. And there you go. It's but it's going so it would load like normal minecraft except there's going to be a new tab that says mods and for me it will say all the mods that i have but you're not going to have that right now because i've already done it so you're not going to have it though but you just want to sign in and you don't want to play it um and then you can just quit the game now once you've finished all those steps you're going to go press command shift g you're going to find it as it's going to be on a field so then you want to press go so then what you want to do is it's going to be a mod folder automatically downloaded because you already played the version so you're going to it's going to automatically download mod folder uh so you just press it and then you're going to have to put all the three mods that you downloaded before into the mod folder now i've already done it of course so that uh, that's why they already said that the mods were still there, but basically you just want to download it, uh, not download it, sorry, move it to that folder, just move all those, all the three, uh, jar files into the folder. Now, again, go to Minecraft, and what you want to do is you just want to select the same version as before, Fabric Loader, and press play again. Okay, so now it's gonna, um, load and stuff downloading all the mods and probably and stuff so we're just gonna wait until it loads it's gonna take a little bit so yeah there we go it loaded okay so now what you want to do is you just want to press full screen I, I could care less press a uh, single player you're gonna create a new world or like any world that you want in fact you can like do a world with your friends or something so that you control them with like the morph mod but it's like cool cool, cool kind of cool so maybe I'll do that in the future. But anyways, what I want you to do is just to name the world. Now for this example, I'm going to allow the cheats. And I'm also just going to do the set game mode as creative just for the sake. So I'm going to create the world and I'll be back when the world is actually created. So I have logged into the world, of course. Why are these sheeps are so loud? Yeah, okay, anyways. So I've logged into the world and basically what I... What, what I like what like it's kind of laggy for some reason I think it's because it's loaded in but basically what you want to do is you just want to like go into settings press options and controls so once you go you're going to go scroll down and then when it says open identity identity menu and use identity ability 
what you want to do is you want to set, set that as like any control that you want i'm going to like set it as like i don't know left control i guess so you're going to set it like that and then you're going to set the keys that you want and now once you've done that uh you can press done and then the controls are set so once you press the key that you set the it on it's gonna this menu will pop up and you can choose any animal that you want and you will morph into it so as you can see i can turn into a panda so now if i do a third person i am actually a panda guys i look like a panda and if i set the game mode maybe you can see it like the hearts are also like how many hearts the animal has so a chicken would have like two hearts right um so now look on my panda and to switch back, you want to click that Minecraft pair character, like Steve or something. So when you're in survival, it's going to say, like, you don't have any mod stuff. But if you kill a sheep or kill any animal that you want to morph into, it says unlock sheep identity. So then what you can do is you're going to press the key, and then you can press the sheep. And there you go, you're actually a sheep, guys. I swear, you guys, <laughs> you're a sheep. You're literally a sheep. You can literally troll your friends. And see, the sheep has four hearts, right? So you can literally like troll your friends this way, and I think that's really cool. Like, look, I'm I'm an actual sheep. In fact, I'm like I'm an angry sheep. I'm a very aggressive sheep. <laughs> like, if you just try to like, if like your your friends will just think it's like a normal sheep, but then when they start to get attacked by the sheep, which is you, it's kind of funny. You just <laughs> troll your friends this way. I really like it. It's like really funny and stuff. So um, anyways, you can just control your friends on this, this tiny island that I spawned on to. Like, look at that. I'm actually a sheep in the height. The height also. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe and bye.